How We Make Movies is brought to you by Microsoft Surface, Assimilate, Azo, Moviola, and Canon Hollywood. It's shot in front of a live audience in Los Angeles and hosted by the film collective We Make Movies. Um, what, one of the other things I noticed and I loved about the movie was all of the external shots. And you guys were shooting in the cab and outside the cab. I think almost every scene was shot at night. So you were working mm. with low light and with the 5D, we're able to really make it look like film and capture a very cinematic quality of the mystery and romanticism mm -hmm. of LA from just a lost time. Um, how did you, I, I guess, how did you make a 5D look like film and, and, and really capture yeah. that much detail in low light? Well, I mean, the value of shooting on a 5D is obviously the size of the sensor. Mm -hmm. So it's, basic, it's basically like, a, because of the way it's a still camera, so it has the sensor size of almost a, a 60 millimeter sensor, um, and uh, so the your your anything that's behind the focal plane is is really out of focus. You get really nice bokeh. All the lights in the background kind of um, are very large are, are very large if you're um, if you're stopped down. And so we were actually um, most of the film was actually shot at a pretty decent ISO. If that um, makes any sense to anyone, but. Um, the one thing that we kind of were fighting was um, the storefronts were so bright. Mm -hmm. And so in order to maintain exposure outside and inside, because the camera is so sensitive, it was blowing out the storefronts. And so I was always trying, I was always having to fight the amount of light that was inside, because we wanted the street lights to, to have a lot of inter interplay with the actors' faces and stuff. Mm -hmm. And in order to get exposure on that, and then also maintain exposure on the storefronts, there was kind of like a balance of, of you know, um, of shooting the two. But um, yeah, we shot, we shot with, a, um, with a kind of flatter profile on the camera and um, spent, you know, countless hours kind of color correcting and, and kind of working it in. And, um, but we were all pretty happy with uh, the, the level that it, it kind of gave us and, and um, you know, the texture. Yeah, we, we didn't want to make it look like it was lit and uh, inside the cab, because a lot of times, You'll see films, and even from the outside, you just sort of, it's supposed to be lit by the dashboard, but mm -hmm. the people just have this big light yeah. on them. It just looks ridiculous. And one thing I love to do is drive around Los Angeles at night, because mm -hmm. it's a completely different city than it is during the day. When you drive out there during the day, it's, it's hot, and it's a little dirty, and it's, you know, a little crazy. But at night, it becomes a really sort of poetic swirl of, of stuff. I mean, it's nothing like driving around Los Angeles at night and putting some jazz on, and you can almost feel like you're back in the 40s and 50s. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing we wanted to convey in this film. So we did a lot of testing. We ended up with these very small LED lights. They're literally a strip of them is about eight inches long and an inch wide, and there's about maybe 10 little lights. And Patrick could stick that light up just using uh, okay. tape or Velcro to the top and then a little mixer like, and so you could have that little string of lights be, it was like a disco kind of, you know, you could have <laughs> it up and down. And, you know, we tried sometimes, I would sometimes be, not very often, but sometimes, you know, I would ride the lights up a little bit. Like we'd be going down a street where it'd be really bright outside mm -hmm. and he'd have his camera set for that. And then we'd go into a darker area and then you could just like, boop, kick up the lights a little bit. But as a director, I just wanted to see those lights going all over the people's faces because that's what it feels like when you drive around. You just sort of feel that.